Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. This is JD Temple. I'm so glad to see all of you here, and I hope everybody is doing freaking awesome. Um, I've been doing great. It's just been really, really busy, so I apologize for not being able to um, upload as many videos as I'd like to, but I plan on getting back on track you know, with doing um, at least one or two every week instead of the one every two weeks, um, how, which that's how it's been here lately. And uh, again, I'm sorry for that. It's just been extremely busy. Lots of big things going on. Um, be on the lookout for an interview that I'll be doing with EA Co-Wedding at the Become a Living God site uh, sometime next week. And that's gonna be to promote the um, up, and, up and coming publication, Anthology of Sorcery Volume 3 Spells which I believe is going to be released on August the 29th. Uh, so be on the lookout for that interview. It's gonna be roughly an hour long. We're gonna get into all kinds of things. Um, you know, everything from uh, you know, my spiritual background to the healing work that I do, and as also go over uh, the, the spell that I have that's gonna be included and published in that anthology and you also see um, live footage of the actual ritual taking place uh, that I filmed a few weeks ago and sent in it's going to be a part of this interview as well so I think that's going to be a really really interesting piece and I hope you guys tune in and check that out um, I should also be uh, getting on with um, Asbury and Torvald here soon as well on his channel so I look forward to that too and I'm going to start doing regular interviews uh, reaching out to a few people out there in the occult community um, to feature on my channel so you know be on the lookout for that too that's something that I wanted to do from the beginning but I uh, just really never got around to it I had too much content that I wanted to put out on my own um, but I think that you can really get a lot out of those kind of one-on-one -on -one interviews, so I certainly want to include that on my channel too. But today, what I really wanted to get into was connecting with your spirit guides. Um, I think that's something that very few people talk about anymore, but it's something that I think is very important um, just in all your practices, but then really again in your everyday life. Um, you don't have to be a medium or an empath to be able to sense and feel your, your spirit guides, although that does help. Um, you know, being a, a physical medium myself and highly empathic, it certainly makes it easier for me, but I know that I was not always cognizant of those abilities and they have grown over time. Um, you know, through my healing work that I do, that does certainly help to um, increase uh, the potency of your psychic abilities. So that's one of the added benefits of uh, having that spiritual healing done is increasing your, your psychic abilities across the board. And so the more that I do this work and the more that I have healing done for me, my abilities strengthen each and every time. So that is definitely an added bonus and a reason to, to look into that. Uh, I can certainly help you with that if anybody's interested. I'll touch on that at the end of the video. But to get in touch with your spirit guides, there is a method that I use and that I you know, teach to other people that seem to work for them pretty well. And all you have to do is if you want to do a banishing prior to that, just to make sure that there's no other residual spirits around and that kind of thing, um, you can certainly do that, you know, whether that's just through Sage or Palo Santo, or if you want to do the Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram, whatever feels right for you. But all you would do would be to sit quiet, quietly and just relax. Go ahead and close your eyes and just feel what it feels like to be sitting in your own energy. From your head to your feet and all around you, just feel what it feels like just to be in your own energy with no other interference. Sit there for a few minutes and just really get comfortable with that. And once you think you've got that down and you can feel your own energy very, very fluently, 
Then you're going to ask that your main spirit guide, and only your main spirit guide, to come and get close to you, to get in that your space, basically, your personal space, your energetic space. You're going to ask them to come in and to get close to your, your energetic space there. And you should feel that shift. You, you, you will definitely feel something when they kind of come into your space there. And then you're going to ask them to show you what it is method-wise that they are going to utilize to communicate with you. So you can ask them, how are you going to communicate with me? And you may feel a tingle on your top of your head and your crown chakra. You may feel something warm around your ankles. You may feel a light caress over your forearm, a tug on your ear. Um, it, it's really uh, different for everyone. And one thing that I get is, is around my ankles, I get this uh, almost like a leg warmer feeling, like I've got some like 1980s like aerobics leg warmers on, and I can kind of feel like a pressure uh, around each one, like, like little cuffs around my ankles, if you will. Um, and that is, that's my main guide there. And that is a way that I'm going to get used to knowing that he's around, but also when I call on him, and I know that he'll be there. Um, and really, I have quite a few, which I would kind of consider main guides. Um, I have about eight spirits that are around me at all times. Most of them are female, uh, believe it or not. And I guess that's kind of why I, I have that, uh, that balance uh, between the masculine and the feminine energies, because I do have so many female spirits around me. But um, you can do this with each one of your guides so that you can distinguish between which one is which so that you can know what their method or preferred method of communication with you is going to be. If you, if you do not feel anything the first time around, don't get discouraged. You may have to repeat this little ritual a few times in order to begin to feel um, that communication and those sensations. Um, more than likely it's always going to be physical, but then again, it could be mental images. It could be something audible that you might hear. Um, you know, it's all going to be different for everyone again. Um, you know, and as time goes on, you'll be able to differentiate, you know, whether it's male or female. You may even get a name at some point. But those things usually are not going to come right away at first. It's going to take some time. You're going get, to be getting used to them and they are going to be getting used to you finally understanding the communication that they have been trying to get across to you for the longest time. So they're going to be very excited and very happy to hear uh, that you are cognizant of uh, them being around you and that the lines of communication are now finally open. And don't be afraid to call on them in times where you need help and you need assistance and guidance. That's what they're there for. Call on them to be there for you to help you through these things. Um, you know, the more and more that I've gotten used to working with my guides, uh, the easier everything has gotten across the board. Um, especially in some of the work that I do in the intuitive work, they can really help you a great deal. So give that a shot and see how that goes for you. And as always, I would love to hear back uh, feedback from people on how this has worked for them and how that's doing. Um, I'm continuing to get feedback from the, um, the inner awakening ritual that I did to awaken inner sight that I did at the beach a few weeks ago. I've gotten a tremendous amount of great feedback from that and I'm really excited about that. Um, I want to set up a live group um, healing session that I'm going to do here soon as well. And uh, I think that's going to be very impactful and very powerful for a lot of people, too. Uh, don't forget, I am here to, um, for one-on-one -on -one, um, energy healing sessions. Uh, I do that via Skype. So there is that live interaction. It is always a very, very powerful spiritual experience. And it, it can help you in so many ways. Because, of course, in 
your occult practices, your energy is paramount in order to push your will forward, in order to really get that emotion and everything built up inside of you for your evocation and for your spell work, for, for everything that you do. Um, having your energy within you um, as powerful as it can be is really, really extremely important. I know that if I'm not feeling it, if I can't get that energy built up within me to do certain things, it's just flat. It's just, it's not going to be a successful working and I can already feel it going into it. So I know that I have to get my energy right first and foremost before I step on and take on those other things. So I would love to help anybody with that. Um, you can check out my website. You can see some reviews on there from some of the people that I work with regularly. Um, you know, I have yet to have anyone that has had a bad experience um, with the one-on-one -on -one spiritual healing work that, that I do for people. Um, you can, you know, reach out to me through YouTube. You can reach out to me through my website or through my email. Um, I'm offering a lot of, you know, first-time client specials right now so that you can you know, see how that is going to be before you, um, you know, commit to working with me, you know, on a regular basis or having to pay the full price rather. Um, usually those healing sessions are anywhere from 70 to 120, but I'm going to be doing them for $40 for a mini session, which would be roughly 30 minutes. And again, that would be live one-on-one -on -one through Skype, um, you know, just you and I, and it will be, um, a very very memorable experience and something that will certainly help you a great deal moving forward um, and, I, and I just really love helping people I love to do that that is my real passion um, above and beyond anything else I know I don't talk about it much on my uh, channel and there's a reason for that um, I'm gonna have some things coming out here in the future that are gonna touch on all of those things um, teach you how to do that and uh, you know, help you to understand how all that works even better. But if you want to connect with me, if you want to get a healing session, check out my website. It's www.jdtemple.info. So again, that's jdtemple.info. Um, you can also just email me directly if you want to, and that's jdtemplehealing at gmail.com. Um, I would love to work with any of you guys, um, especially those of my subscribers. I love you all, and I would love to uh, get to know you better and work one-on-one -on -one like that. So reach out to me, and I will get back to you uh, promptly. But I hope you can connect with your guides. I hope that helps some of you out. I've got some other videos coming up here very, very soon on meditation, on um, astral constructs and things of that nature. So it's going to be kind of a, a little mix. But again, look for my interview with EA Coetting next week. Um, that's going to be to promote the Anthology of Sorcery Volume 3. It's going to highlight and feature uh, the ritual that I have that's going to be published in that, as well as delve into all kinds of other interesting things. So I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys tune in. I hope you enjoy it too. Um, it's great to see you all again, and I love you all very much, and I hope everybody out there is doing great. And I'll see you later. Thanks.